idea we want to explore with regard to the Nernst equation, and that is when we have what's called a concentration cell. A voltaic cell can be constructed using the same species in both the anode and cathode compartments, as long as the concentrations are different. This is known as a concentration cell. In a concentration cell, the same reactants operate in both cells, but they're reversed, so the net voltage is zero. The cell with the higher concentration drives the cell with lower concentration backwards. So, in theory, if you were trapped on a, de on a deserted island, uh, and you had, as long as you had some pieces of metal and some containers, you would be able to set up a battery. All you, had, all you would have to do is to evaporate some seawater so that the salts become more concentrated, and then you could have, uh, you could set up a concentration cell, and then if you set them up in series, you could add up the voltage that result. In a concentration cell, E0 is equal to zero because you're using the same reaction. And one cell is going forward, and the other cell is going backwards. So the net voltages cancel out. But you'll see that the net reaction is not uh, the same species. It's the same species in D, but uh, different concentrations. So you get from a concentrated cell pushing the dilute cell backwards. And that's how you, that's how you discern which one of the reactions goes backwards. The one that's dilute will be pushed backwards. And the positive, the positive voltage is the one that's uh, going to, is going to run. So in this example, which comes from page 876 of our text, which is brown, um, we have a zinc concentration of 1.35 molar in one side of the cell and 3.75 times 10 to the minus 4 molar on the other side. We would enter those concentrations into the Nernst equation. Two electrons are transferred, that's why that n becomes two, and we take the log of the two concentrations, and we see that it actually generates a voltage of 0 0.105. So this is a, an example of a concentration cell.